Hey guys, it is Aloha Mongoose, and today is a racing rival video on tips on how to avoid scammers. Now, this video took me a while to make, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Any questions you may have, put it in the comments below. Alright, now that I got you guys' attention, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm not responsible for anyone that gets scammed after this video. This video is an instructional video about things I do to avoid being scammed, but these tips that I'm about to share will not protect you 100%. Be sure while doing business with people to do it at your own risk. Alright, so what are Racing Rival Scammers? Racing Rival Scammers will manipulate you in thinking that they are legit or getting a good deal or business, but they are actually ripping you off by stealing your Racing Rival's cash or cars without giving anything in return or without you noticing until it's too late. After they get what they want, they will commonly unfriend and ignore you and or go offline or make up an excuse or admit to scamming. Scammers on Racing Rivals will always be around and they can't be punished or banned for scamming because they are protected by this notification from the team managers stating card trades are not supported, trade at your own risk. Now why? Racing Rivals did not design the race bet and pinks button for trading and selling. It was only made for gambling to see who's the, fa who's, who's the fastest by putting your Racing Rivals cash or car on the line. If this business did not exist, there would be no scammers. Racing Rivals also needs money to keep their game running, and our community of trading and selling slows it down for them. The game admin and or creator did not have any intention of making this game for trading and selling, so they have rights to not take responsibility of people getting scammed. Alright, so how can you avoid being scammed? Honestly, you can get scammed anytime during your business, in the trade or selling. You'll never know when it will happen, but these tips that I'm about to share with you should help you out more than finding it out yourself. Try using this information with other information you may find about scammers and how to avoid them for better results. Alright, first tip I'm about to show you is proof and how it's everything. Without proof of legitimacy, you should not do a trade with them due to the lack of reference that they can hold up to the deal. A person with no proof could also be a scammer as well. All mobile devices are able to do screenshots by either pressing home and lock button at the same time. Or if it's not the home and lock button, always google it, see how to screenshot with your particular phone, they'll show you the answer. Also, there are screen recorders as well, and there, some of them are free, so get the best one suited for your phone. You can also send your proof for each to each other by any social network that can send pictures or videos, example, Instagram, Facebook, or Kick. With proof, you'll feel a little bit better about doing business with that person, but always keep your guard up because anything can happen during the trade and selling. Alright, next, next tip here is the chat box and how it all starts here. Alright, so how can you catch a scam before it happens in the chat box? Basically, read between the lines. Scammers will have their own way on approaching things and making it sound like it's legit. If it sounds fishy in any way, just back off the deal and don't risk it. First impression is everything. Some people make more business or friends or just eager to trade, sell, or buy things. It is hard to say they are scamming or not due to the lack of information. So all you can do is respond to them, figure things out, See what you're dealing with, read between the lines, see if anything sounds fishy. If not, you can go with the deal or not. That's all you can really do. Make sure you have equal say while making the deal. It's all about 50-50. Reason why is because people that get scammed, how I, how I look at their deals from their proof, it doesn't look 50-50 to me. So if the person asks for too much and you feel like it's not fair to you, no matter what the deal is, just back off. Scammers will always try to keep in control of the deal, so don't let them. Don't feel like you have to do the deal. It's your business too. So if you don't have equal say in it and you're trying to get equal say in it and they're like saying no, just back off. All right, next is things I look for before assuming that I might be getting scammed. Now this may seem a little strict, but these things that I'm about to share with you here has been helping me a lot from not getting scammed. All right, if I feel like I'm being forced into a deal, someone that tries to convince me without giving up, try to play it off like they have to get rid of something, makes me feel bad about not doing business with them. Someone that says, trust me, I'm legit with no proof of it, starts the beginning of the chat of what they want to trade, what they want to offer, asking me to go first, or, a or asking me the same things repeatedly, and or if this person is immature. These are really big things here, at least for me. And if anyone acts this way to you, just say no deal. Or any of the one things that I just shared with you. All right here, next clip here I have is um example of things to look out for. I got three photos that I'm about to share with you and all that stuff. So here we go. Um, 
anyone that begs for a trade, I mean, if they're if they're really eager, they'll like no matter what, right? So people begging for trades, it, it's fishy. Uh, people who beg for free cars. This could, this is another way of scamming too. No matter what their excuse is, how do you know it's true? So that's why proof is everything. So if they beg for free cars, why do you have proof of it? If not, they could just be getting a free car because they can't afford anything. All right, next is anyone that has to announce this, to say who they are. They, You don't know who that person is behind the keyboard or behind the phone. So they could say they're this person, but they could be a totally different person. That will equal them as a scammer. But if person has to, if they have to announce, it's kind of fishy, at least to me. So I say no deal. All right, next is social networking. All right, here's another tip. So this is a good way to get information on people in the business and find out the latest updates on the game and even on scammers. Being on a site like being on a site like Instagram, Facebook, or even Racing Rivals forums is a great way to find out business with people. But even with that, you can still get scammed. Should not do business with people that do not have a background of legitimacy. Always assume that they are a scammer if they don't have proof or a background of legitimacy. You can also use this at advantage to get yourself out there so more people will know about you. But watch what you post because there's always a scammer watching no matter who you are. Right? Other things that may help. I'm about to share these with you right now. And they're helping me out a lot. At least till, until today. Until this video, you know, so... Video proof is really good is because they're just way better than screenshots because nothing gets like they're not missing anything in the in between all of that. So video proof is a great way to show that you're legit or a trade going out really good or uh, a trade that went ho horribly wrong of you getting scammed and whatnot. All right, next is keeping your business resources small. Smaller your trading, selling, buying circle is. Smaller they are, smaller the problems. Because once you get a bunch of good people to trade with and all that jazz, there's no reason to go trading with everybody on Racing Rivals. You don't really have nothing to prove, to be honest, you know. Except trading with everyone and accepting deals. That's the only thing you're going to really get out of. But scammers look for people like that. So just watch out who you do business with. Next is a full friends list. This is like a firewall to scammers. But also, it could be you could be blocking out... Um, people that want to do trades with you as well. Um, once you hit 200 friends, you can't, you can't accept any, any, any more than that. So it becomes to you controlling over your friends list, getting rid of people that you don't want so more people can, can come through. Or if they really want to do business with you, they'll keep in touch with you on, a, on another social network. So that's why other social networks could be your advantage as well, especially if you have a full friends list so you can keep informed. Alright, if you don't want to do deals with anyone or anything, just ignore or just say sorry, no deal. You don't need to do a deal with everyone every day. Remember, this game is all about racing and not doing business of trading and selling. That's what's up. And there's going to be people out there that's going to just be really beggy about things. So don't let them take control of you. Make sure when you do it, you do it for the right reasons as well. So, yeah. Alright, next is controlling yourself. This is another big one. and This is another reason why I see a lot of people getting scammed. So here we go. All right, so never let your emotions take the best of you. Having control over them will make sure you don't do anything you might regret later on. Always keep your guard up until the business is finished. If you get scammed, don't panic. Remember to gather your proof, and it's your, partially your fault too. You agreed to it. You trust this person. The only person you can blame is you because the way you could have avoided the scam is by saying no deal. Sorry, doesn't sound right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'll never get baited. Just because you like the deal or what they offer to give you, don't get too excited. It could be a scam. So make sure you got the proof, pay attention to the chat box and the deal. Scammers bait people by offering really a really good deal and they'll reel you in to get what they want and they're out of there. That's how scammers work. So that's what's up. So just make sure, pay attention, don't get baited. All right. Keep professional is another thing too. Even though it's a game, it's still a business to some people. If they don't seem serious about it, about it or act weirdly, just don't do it. They'll do the same to you if you're acting immature and all that stuff. So, you know, if someone is not really taking it seriously because it's just a game, those are people that I don't want to do business with because, you know, it's just a game, right? Anything can happen. So, um, yeah. All right, moving on. Proof to show that you got scammed. If you do get scammed, this is really good um, things to show because I try to help people so I can get their information on them getting scammed 
onto my YouTube videos, but they haven't been showing a lot of proofs. So these are proofs that I kind of look for. These three pictures are example, and I'm about to show you share what else I'm looking for. So show proof of you and the person talking about the deal and agreeing to it. Also proof of who agrees to go first. Show race results on who filed and more of the chat box to show scammer went offline, admit to scamming, or their excuse. Basically showing proof that you got nothing in return and you got scammed. More evidence, the better. Especially if you want to have people forward the message to avoid this person from getting scammed. It's just a great way. More information you got, the better. The scammer won't have as much as you have. So that's what's up. All right, next is questions that you may have for me. All right, this is, will this video help me help you from getting scammed? All right, so yes, because this is all my information I gathered. So ever since my last video of me getting scammed, I never got scammed ever since. That's kind of big. That shows a lot, you know, so middleman and vouchers. How do I feel about it? All right, I don't know much about it, so I stay away from those things as it's just another advantage for a scammer to use in their process of getting your cash and cards. If you're, if you're not familiarized and know what a voucher is and what a middleman is, to stick to direct um, business. If a person can't do a business directly with you, I just say, okay, no deal, you know? Because that's how I am. I'm just kind of a straightforward person. If you can't make a direct deal with me and you got to have other people involved and whatever, you know? So I know what I am. I don't know who you are. <laughs> so... Um, middleman and vouchers could, like I said, a scammer can use it to their advantage because that could be their partners in the crime. So, and I did get, um, scam from people that, um, uh, you know, that had vouchers and had middlemans and all that stuff. So I just stay away from them completely. All right. Next is, um, people that never like going first. All right. So, yeah. Um, it's up to you. If they come to you for a trade and they say they're not going first, even though they are legit, remember scammers use this excuse too. So don't do business with people like that due to unfairness of the trade. Unless you want to believe in them and give them the benefit of the doubt, go for it. But for people that wanted to do trades with me and did not want to go first, I got scammed from those people. So people like this, I don't do trades with them unless I know them. For a very very long time and I did business with them then okay I understand but you know there's just certain points and regular um things that I kind of do you know so yeah next is if you're new to the game like I'm new to the game I want to avoid getting scammed all right first thing is <laughs> the game wasn't meant for this business so don't do it at all but if you guys want to everything comes with experience you gotta learn from them it's gonna happen to you someday in your life if not you're lucky but don't trust random people on the game and try using other social networks to keep you um to help you find legit people i recommend instagram because i'm on there and everyone there is just very very close they'll dm you post their trades and sales they're really legit you have to build a reputation with them but you know if someone scams on if they someone scams on ins um on racing rivals and they have an instagram People on Instagram will definitely blast you on there and you have nowhere to hide unless you change your username. But even with that, you got to start all over again. So that's what's up. Um, there's other general questions, but I'll just have you guys write it in the comment below if you guys have anything else. After that, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it and, and whatever. So um, if this video helped you out, let me know. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and it wasn't that boring or anything. Just let me know. Alright guys, aloha. See you guys in the lobby. Aloha mango. Adios.